Hey, how's it going everybody? Larry here and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. Today I've got uh, an update review on my latest vintage uh, Parker 51 that I got back yesterday. And I just can't begin to tell you how well this Parker 51 writes. It's got a 14K medium fine nib and it's a 1947 vintage. And I'll be showing the, you that in a few seconds here. Uh, I have some uh, emails about making a nib wetter. So I will be talking about how I make my nib wetter in a different uh, video than this one. So let me go sit down and I'll show you my pin carry. And then I'll get into the pin I'll be showing you about. Here is my Mont Blanc Sgt. Pepper's Beetle Pen and my Mont Blanc JFK and my Mont Blanc 149 and here's my Edison Collier right here. Really uh, a beautiful swirl uh, color orange and the pin in question today, the Parker 51, 1947. Just look at this beautiful pin. It looks like a dark blue, wouldn't you say? It's not black. It may appear black, but uh, it's really a dark, dark blue. What I'm seeing, what do you see, Mr. Announcer? Yes, it's blue. Yeah, but real dark. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not. It actually picks it up bluer than what it looks like in person. Uh, and uh, a nice cap. And there's that uh, blue diamond right there on top of the uh, clip with the famous Parker arrow. And then, of course, your jewel on top of the cap. Uh, and the person's name on it, uh, let's see, Ted... Conmos or Concos or how do you pronounce that last name? C O I can't hardly see it. Conomus. Conomus C O N O M U S I believe. Uh, but anyway, I didn't mind the name being on the pin. 1947 vintage. That's what I was concerned about, and uh, I send it off to. Uh, this person right here, Gregory, he's the one uh, who did the restoration on the pen, and he knocked it out of the park. Did a really nice job here. Take off the knob, and that's how you fill your pen. And I really do like that on the Parker. Uh, it does post well. I love the hooded nib on it, like it has. He did a real good job on this fountain pen. But the thing that you want to know is, how well does this fountain pen write? Now remember, 1947. So here we have the Parker... 51. It's about 71 years old and it's still in operation today. Parker makes an excellent fountain pen. So here we go. It has a 14K, writes medium defined, nice and wet. I like that in a pen. And I'm using the Dye Mine Blue Velvet.
and it does write upside down for those who choose to write upside down. I don't do it, but uh, you can get more of a fine line when you do that. So, yeah, the Parker 51. Really a, a super nice pen. And I'll, I just, I really have enjoyed using it. It's got the uh, vacuumatic filler. And it weighs about 18.4 G's without any ink in it. And it's about 5.42 inches in length. And uh, the widest part of the pen is 0 0.44 inches. Um, the uh, 1948... Uh, I've sent to have it restored. So, they're almost of all, all about the same except for the converter. One's a the squeeze and one is your pump. And so, here's your blank cap on this one and the other one is a little bit different but not much more. And, and uh, again, uh, this on the barrel, it does say made the... Uh, in Canada, Toronto, and this is 1946, right here, I don't know if you can see it, was well, made in the USA, then it has uh, Parker, then it has number five, number six, let me see this a little second, number five, then it has over here, the number six, and uh, the information that was given about that means that it was made in Canada, Toronto in 1946. So, that is kind of cool to have a pen that's still functional and writes extremely well and looks really nice. 47 years later? So, I'm feeling it. So, uh, here you have it my Parker 51 and like I said I'll have another Parker 51 coming back to me this week so I can't wait to get that one and then I'll be sending the Parker 45 off to get it restored and then I'll be working on some Schaefer snorkels to be restored so I hope uh, you enjoyed this Parker 51 as much as I have because it really is a superb fountain pen it really is uh, if you can pick up your hands on a Parker 51 that that's in great condition uh, or has been fully restored inside and out, uh, I would suggest that if you're a pen enthusiast and you're really into fountain pens, to pick yourself up a vintage Parker 51. You won't regret it. They really run extremely well. They feel great in the hand. They look sharp. And uh, if only this pen could talk what a story he would tell us. Hey folks, that's going to wrap up this episode on the Parker 51 Vintage 1947. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I'm fired up because yes, what I do, I do fountain pens. Can you dig it? Knew that you could. So, tell your friends about me. Share this video. Let's put the word out. And God bless and don't text and drive until my next video. Later. Peace.